it just is like a cascade, like a waterfall of sound. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Molly and in this video I'm going to be talking about the album Glow On by the punk rock band Turnstile. Turnstile is a new band for me. I'm not familiar with any of their earlier work, but a couple of you have been recommending that I check out their most recent album Glow On, which came out on August 27th of 2021. So it's a fairly recent album and I was just intrigued to check it out and give it a listen based on all of your recommendations that I hear this album and I'm glad I did. It definitely packs a punch in its short runtime. I love just the energy of this album and it's got a great sound. Turnstile definitely uses dynamics and a lot of different sounds and a mix of genres to just create a really fun, entertaining, interesting album. And yeah, I thought I would just film this little video and talk about why I love Glow On by Turnstile. The album opens with track one called Mystery. I really like the dreamy, almost ethereal atmosphere sound that this one has at the start. Just a very kind of floaty, outer spacey feeling to this track that I love. It just, I don't know, it kind of relaxes you almost. It has this very light ethereal quality to its tone. And then they introduce that energy later on and paired with the quiet bass, it just makes for again, great dynamics with the sound. And then how they transition mystery into the second track blackout is just great. I love how those two tracks flow from one into the next. And then we have track two, Blackout. One of the standouts on this album for me. This one's awesome. It brings the energy and I absolutely love the guitar on this track as well. Also the vocals on this one are delivered with so much conviction and just this attitude and spunkiness. I love it. Also the percussion on Blackout really stood out to me. It's so fun and around the halfway mark, it just changes it up a little bit. It changes the sound of the song and when that percussion is introduced, it just is so entertaining and fun to listen to. This whole album is, but they just throw little tidbits of change-ups of the sound and even the genre sometimes that it just makes this album very enthralling and captivating to listen to. It kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat sonically. You never really know exactly what's coming next. And then at the end of Blackout, when he's singing, it's just a part of my show, it gets so heavy and dense. And then they reintroduce that percussion. It's just awesome. I love this track. And then we're on to track three, Don't Play. This is another standout for me personally on this album. This one is extremely entertaining to listen to. It's so fun. They infuse a lot of heavier kind of pop punk aggression with very laid back, borderline tropical sounding jazzy quality too, which I think is a really interesting pairing. It just makes this album really fun and laid back, but at the same time, it brings so much aggression and attitude to it. I just love that dynamic of the sound. Like for example, on this track, the guitar just goes so heavy, but then they combine it with those tropical sounding instrumentals too later on. It's just such a cool, unexpected fusion of sounds, and it just makes this album so interesting and just fascinating to listen to. We've Moving on to track four, we have Underwater Boy. This one, the name is very appropriate because it almost has like an underwater sound to it. It kind of has some watery sounding distorted vocals, and then it's a little bit more muted. It's a little bit more of a relaxed track as well. It definitely has less of that intense punk rock energy going on. Again, just a very interesting track to listen to, and they're yet again kind of changing up and playing around with the sounds on this album. Track five is Holiday. This is by far one of my favorite favorite tracks on Glow On. This one is awesome. The bass at the start is just what really immediately catches your ear and pulls you right in. It's so good. And then they introduce that percussion a little bit later on that has almost a dripping sound to it. Again, they're kind of tying in some watery sounding elements. And then we just get all that energy when the vocals and the rest of the instrumentation is introduced. It's got such a great groove. It just gets stuck in your head. And then they have that quiet bridge before they just bring all of that energy back toward the end of this track. And it just packs a punch. It's such 
a great track. I absolutely love Holiday. Track six is Humanoid Shake It Up. This is almost like a little interlude. It's a pretty short one and it's kind of broken up into two parts. I think the, the first part of this track is Humanoid and it's very electronic sounding. And then you have the Shake It Up part where they bring in a little bit more aggression, more of a pop punk sound, and they kind of, you know, bring back some more of that energy. Definitely love the guitar on this one. And yeah, just kind of like a short little interlude of sorts, you could say. Track seven is Endless. This one is a little bit more melodic. The vocals are more restrained. There's almost a kind of floaty atmospheric feeling that this track gives me. It's interesting too that the Glow On album cover is like a pink sky with clouds. And there's definitely an airy, kind of floaty, dreamy quality to some of the sounds going on with this album. And this track, Endless, is a good example of that. It just has this very ethereal, light, kind of floaty sound to it. And then for track eight, we have Fly Again. I think this is my favorite track on Glow On. This one is just amazing. It brings this fun energy and they do a great job of fusing kind of more melodic verses with a super, super punch really energetic chorus. The guitar on this one just provides such a catchy foundation that just drives this entire track from start to finish. And then just how they bring this entire rush of instrumentation in at the end, it just is like a cascade, like a waterfall of sound. It's just amazing. I love this track. Like I said, I think it's my favorite on Glow On. It's just absolutely awesome. Track nine is Alien Love Call. This one's a little bit different. It features Blood Orange, which I actually think is a really cool cool duo. I like the sound of his voice on this track. Again, they kind of pull it in a little bit. It's a little more restrained. Kind of that dreamy atmospheric quality is back to the tone of this track. And again, there's kind of like a watery flowing feeling that this track gives you. Very atmospheric for sure. The sound of this one almost reminds me of kind of what staring at like ripples spreading out in a pool of still water would sound like. It just has that watery, like fluid sound to it. That's the best way I can describe it. But yeah, I really like this track. It kind of goes in a little bit of a different direction, but it fits really well on this album still. And I just love how it kind of just goes right into the very dreamy electronic bit at the end. Track 10, Wild World, brings back that almost tropical sounding percussion. I love that they fuse that so much on this album. It just has this really chill, laid back, carefree vibe to it. But then the vocals are so like growly and delivered with such ferocity. I absolutely love the dynamic going on there between those two elements. There's also some distortion on the vocals with this one too. I don't know, it just changes it up. This is just a fun track. I really like this one. Track 11, Dance Off. The percussion really stands out to me on this one. And especially paired with the guitar, it just works really well. I also really like the breakdown toward the end of this track with that kind of distorted electronic bit. Overall, this track is just really catchy and I love the fusion of sounds going on with this one. New Heart Design, track 12, almost goes in a more just pop sounding direction. There's a little bit less of that punk, intense, kind of aggressive energy to it. It's not melodic, but it kind of just has a slightly softer edge to its tone. Overall, I like it. It's a nice change of pace for the album, and they're just fusing some different sounds on there. It's kind of interesting, too, how it ends with, like, that kid's voice talking. And then track 13, TLC, or Turnstile Love Connection, definitely makes up for the previous track's more kind of restrained floaty sound, because track 13 just brings the energy. It's just an aggressive little track. It's pretty short. There's just so much energy on this one. I love the boom, boom, boom part. <laughs> It's just really fun to listen to. And then the vocals paired with the guitar is just a fantastic blend of sounds that just works so well. And then we have track 14, the short little track, No Surprise. Again, kind of interlude-ish, and it kind of brings the energy back down again after TLC. They definitely kind of go back and forth a lot on this album. Yeah, No Surprise, track 14, definitely calms things down a little bit. It's a very relaxed track. Like I said, kind of an interlude of sorts, I would call it, before the 
final track, track 15, which is Lonely Desires. This one starts off with some really cool sounding distorted guitar, and then they kind of bring back those instrumentals and a little bit more energy. I also really like how the vocals are kind of muffled and they have that underwater sound to them again. They're kind of reintroducing that throughout this album. And then the whole track, not just the vocals become muffled, it's almost like they take the entire track and either dunk it underwater or send it floating on up into space. They're just fusing that, like the wateriness and the atmospheric qualities so well with their pop punk energy on this album. And yeah, it's almost like this track just gets sunk underwater or something and it becomes really muffled and distorted sounding and super quiet. Yeah, it's a great track and I absolutely love it. I think it's a very, very fitting end for this album. So that is going to wrap up my little review of sorts for Glow On, the third studio album from the pop punk band Turnstile. I'm glad so many of you recommended that I check this album out because I had a blast listening to it. It's so entertaining entertaining from front to back. And there are just some fantastic tracks on here. I will say, I think for me personally, it is like the slightest bit front heavy. I definitely have more of my favorite tracks in like the first half or so of this album, but the whole thing is fantastic. It's absolutely worth a listen if you haven't heard it already. We'll have to wait and see, but it's definitely in the running for one of my favorite albums of 2021. But yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments what you think of Glow On by Turnstile if you've heard this album. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. And as usual, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.